How you doing, everybody? This is a beautiful idea and the merit of the Lunishmat, the elevation of the soul of Kalman Moshe ben Ruven Avigdor. May his soul soar to the heights infinitely. And may his children be a blessing on him, and, and may every, all of his children see how much and how much nachas, how much pleasantness they're giving to their father. Amen. So, I wanted to um, speak about this topic. I saw people were interested in this topic, um, different um, through different uh, videos that other people have been making and whatnot. Um, I kind of touched on this once before. We're going to speak about this idea of yira, of fear, of respect. Uh, of, of, of Hashem, of God. One day when I was in Hispodadut, uh, maybe five years ago, four years ago, I had this really big question um, about fearing Hashem. Because there's an aspect of fear of, there's an aspect of fear of getting punished. And there's an aspect of fear of his of God's exaltedness, that He's so great, He's so giant, and I feel like like you're standing in front of Mount Everest or K2 or a huge mountain or a huge building. You feel so small and insignificant, comparatively speaking. You realize it's like it's magnificence. So I wanted to clarify what Hashem gave me in my Isbodedut. I ask the same questions as everybody else does. Sometimes people don't ask the question and they don't get the answer because they're afraid and they stop but just just a just a key point in your life in your in your personal relationship with God don't be afraid to ask questions and don't be afraid to wait for answers it might take a little while for the answer to come sometimes it doesn't take a long time you just need sincerity actually the truth is all the time you need sincerity and, and to be ultimately simple with God. Rabbi Nachman says Hashem is ultimately simple. We have to be ultimately simple with God to help us get to the point of all the wisdoms that we have. Sometimes we make it very complicated. And uh, God wants, us, wants it to be very simple for us. Because ultimately, you know, when it comes down to it, we always say come to when, it, when, it all, when it all comes down to, to a point. So what is the point? What is the nekuda? The point at which... Um, we're supposed to have in mind and serving God and to begin to serve God. We brought up in a different uh, lecture, a different, uh, different shiur, different talk, saying that um, Reshit Chachma, the beginning of wisdom, Reshit Chachma, Yiras Hashem, is the fear of God. You want to be, you want to, you want to have wisdom. You want to begin with real wisdom. So then, the real wisdom begins first with fearing God. So what what is this fear of God? I ask myself this question. God just wants us to be afraid. He wants us to. He wants us to like, just like sit there and fear and awe. And and the truth is, it might be a certain level. It really it, it really might be a hundred percent. Not saying it might be. It is. Sorry. It is a certain level of recognition of his awesomeness and and how it's like a parent as as quickly as the child thinks he can run the parent can run 10 times faster and catch up to him and tell him no <laughs> you're not doing the right thing um so the question is what what is the purpose of the era of the fear when it comes down to it is, is, that, is, is that all god just wants us to be afraid and I, Hashem gave me an answer because I was sincerely looking. I really wanted to know the truth. And you, you, you get shown the answers when you're looking for the truth. And I found later on that it was a part of one of the chidush and the novel and ideas of the Baal Shem Tov, um, who all Hasidus comes from, which I was so happy to hear that, you know, that I was in line with that, you know, and even though I never read it until that point, until way after Hashem gave me this chidush. And so... I'll explain the idea that the idea and by the way I, I want to tell you why, why 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 am I expressing so much that God gave me the chidush the novel idea is that everybody must be very happy every time they get answers in their personal prayer with their, with God because they realize it's you have to realize it's your personal connection with God everybody has to have their own personal connection with God 
we have a collective connection, but there's a personal connection as well we need to have where a person learns to have the confidence to believe in the ideas and and the communication that God is trying to give give to us and that he he's with us each individually and also collectively so that's the point i want to make firstly secondly the most important the idea of this whole lecture the whole this whole uh so um this whole talk right here is to understand what the purpose of your is and i thought about it and i was like you know on a, on a reg on a regular basis god gives us commandments in a regular in a in a normal sense god gives us commandments do's don't do's on the one hand a person gets punished for doing things that are wrong on on a basic level a person thinks I, I god commanded me to do something in a situation i didn't do it am i supposed to get punished in a certain way whatever the situation is okay that's how that's how look e rough might might look like I'm afraid am I gonna do something wrong am I gonna get punished for not doing the right thing with my father with my mother this same i it's a very similar idea with God okay he gives us things in this world so that we can relate to how to how it functions in the higher worlds as well okay so a kid is going out in the street and kid doesn't know about the cars he doesn't know the dangers of this world parents takes a tug at his arm and the kid's like ow why are you doing that and the and the father the mother says well <laughs> don't you know you're about to go on the road where a car could come and easily god forbid something bad could happen where you don't want that you don't want to have that mistake so i'm giving you the opportunity that you don't have to make that mistake again so so the parent tugs on the arm because the parent has the wisdom but the child doesn't right the child doesn't have the fear yet he doesn't have the fear for his life for its life because without this without this basic fear a person can't even have a connection to their physical parents in this world because or anybody because a person who gets run over by a car or whatever i'm just saying a person who gets into such dangerous situations their life um, is in jeopardy and of being lost god forbid on a simple level so i thought about it well what happens with a kid as they grow up they become afraid themselves of going in the street they start to take they start to to know also that they shouldn't go the street they should look both ways start to learn you know the parents teach them to look both ways gives them that wisdom of the ability to understand you know they're supposed to look both ways and we see that as the kid grows up something amazing happens that he no longer needs his parents to cross the street hopefully he no, no longer needs his parents to help, help him cross the street and he's able to look both ways and what's happening at this time is he afraid is he is he thinking oh i'm gonna, if i go in the street i'm going to get punished no he took the fear the same fear that his parents had for his life his own life when he was a young kid and he took the fear on himself to be afraid for his life to be to to be afraid to 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 um to damage the connection between him and and his family physically like god forbid a person who's damaging himself in a physical way may not be able to see their family anymore god forbid okay so we have to understand that that this fear that a person is we're talking about this year ah the beginning of wisdom is the fear of Hashem, is really, and nothing, but, in a put in a simple way, is that, when you're young, God is watching over you in all the different ways He's watching over you, but as you get older, He expects us, He expects us to start learning respect, and fear of Him. Why? He wants us to start caring. He wants to, wants us to learn about caring about our relationship with Him. He wants us to be afraid. Of breaking the connection between us and him he doesn't want to, to to for us to put ourselves in jeopardy of not having connection with him because it's really hard to um, to find to look for God after through all the layers it's not an easy task it's not an easy task but when a person has era they have a fear they have a respect of God they're not going to put many they're not gonna they're looking for the least amount of obstacles to be put in their way between them and God. 
Because through yira, a person can have real ahava. Through f- fear, a person can have real love of God. And how can you have real yira? When you've taken the same fear that God, God had, when we were kids, God had a, was afraid himself that we were, that we were in jeopardy, put our lives in jeopardy. But as we get older, we have enough wisdom to know to, to God says, do, don't do this. Why is he saying, do, don't do this? Because he just wants to punish us if we do it and he wants to reward us when we, sorry, he wants to reward us when we do it and he wants to punish us when we don't do it. No, it's our connection to him. These commandments are our connection to him. Every commandment, every, every aspect of goodness is us connecting to God. Every aspect of what we call, so to speak, quote unquote, bad in this world is a, is a covering, is a blockage, is a, is a disconnect from God. So this is what real yira, real yira means, real fear of God means. I'm afraid of losing my, my kesher that I've built, my connection that I built with God. Because it's possible to, to put on layers, to make it harder for us to see God. Even though God can always be found all the time, but we could still, it could still become harder. It doesn't mean that things can't become harder. But we, what we want, what we're looking for, is to make our life easier. We don't want to jeopardize our connection with God. We want to make it so that our connection with God is always strong, is always intact. And when we take the fear on ourselves. That I'm afraid myself of what? Of I don't want to lose my connection with God. The way I have it right now, I only want to add to the connections. I don't want to lose connections. And when you recognize this level of understanding, you're taking the fear on yourself. You're taking the same fear that your parents had for your life. And you're saying, no, I'm also afraid for my life. Because I want a connection with my parents. And I want a connection with my family. And I want a connection with, with my life. With actually having a life of giving. So you're going to take that fear on yourself, and you're going to respect yourself. You're going to respect God. You're going to respect your parents. And then you'll find everything. You'll begin to be able to find everything that you're looking for in your connection with all of the above. And may everybody merit to be able to connect to this era and to not, and to not have it be misplaced, that they shouldn't, be, um, they shouldn't think the era is just trembling and just all this f- afraid. No, it's I'm afraid. I respect God so much. I'm afraid of losing my connection with Him. I'm afraid of of putting the work that I've had in jeopardy to have a connection with Him, to have a connection with my parents. And and that's the, the kind of fear. That's a positive fear. It's not a negative fear. We want to be able to cultivate it and to enjoy it. I mean, everybody enjoy respecting God and to have this fear of God and to take the fear on themselves, to take this fear to be able to respect themselves, the good, the good that God wants to give us, the Kesher, the connection with us and Him, is the ultimate thing that we have. And the easiest way to start is first by having this respect, this fear, to be able to recognize that no matter what the situation is, no matter what happens, I don't want... My real will is I don't want to sever any connection with God. I want to always feel that connection because if I know that I'm with Him and everywhere I'm going, then I'm not afraid of anything else. I'm not afraid of anything else. Nothing in the world. No cop. No this. No that. No na 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 na. And obviously, we're not. Tr- nobody's trying to do anything wrong, but we're not going to be afraid of anything in the world because God is the only thing that exists, really, in reality. As we say in Hebrew, Ein od mil vado, there is nothing except Him. There is nothing except God in this world. And that's part of the main clarification that we have in this world, to be able to clarify He's the only one that exists, and He's our best friend, and He's our Father, Avinu Shabbat Shemayim, our Father in Heaven. He can help us. It's worth it for us to respect Him, to fear the commandments that He went out of His way to give to the people of the world and all the positivity and all the good thoughts that we have towards all human beings, our family, our parents, everything. We must respect it. We must be afraid to to put that in jeopardy. We have to have a certain level of respect for that. And when we do, we're going to cultivate all the relationships we're supposed to and we're going to enjoy from it properly and we're going to be able to have proper love the way that we should and the way that God wants for us. We'll have all the relationships that God wants us to have and we'll be able 
to cultivate every good relationship and make it grow way, way further and until infinity. May everybody merit through this era to be able to have that love that they're looking for and to be able to realize how valuable it is to take the fear on yourself, just like your parents had when you were young, and to, to, to be afraid of losing connections with God that you already have. Don't be, don't be afraid of anything else. Just, just fear one thing, fear God. Fear, that, fear losing that connection. You can't ever really lose that connection. But what you can do is you put coverings over it. And, that, and therefore it numbs the connection. So we don't want to put numb. We want to rev- take the layers off as much as possible. Doing His will and helping us in, on the way. Hashem, we're asking Hashem help us on the way. Remove all the layers that we have. May everybody merit to help them. That God should help them remove all the layers. Have a great and beautiful day. May you everybody have real yira and take and have respect for everyone as well.